Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum Update Friday, July 30th, around 9 a.m. Mountain Time, 2021. The models are in, and much-needed moisture is coming to the Four Corners region, which will end much of this severe drought in the coming weeks. But the big story, climate change is driving deadly weather disasters from Arizona to Mumbai. Keep calm. It's nonsense time. You might have seen many headlines over, well, the past few years, and it's ramping up. Climate change is driving deadly weather from coast to coast, from pole to pole, rising levels of carbon dioxide, increasing extreme weather events in Australia, report finds. Extreme weather is upending lives in the West. You walk around with this vague sense of terror. Thousands of scientists now warning climate is at a tipping point, and it is imminent. And then we have videos like this. Always had a wild streak, but as the world warms, we are being routinely forced to rewrite our record books. Pick your season and you'll find the extreme events are getting longer, warmer, wetter, hotter, and colder. Flooding in London last week left a dirty stain on lives and livelihoods. Is this true? Or is there a dirty stain on science? You're looking at the number of all-time records from 1,218 USHCN stations, including record precipitation, record minimum temperatures, record maximum temperatures, and record snowfall. And you can see that, well, recently, these disasters peaked in the 90s, 1994, and have been dropping off precipitously since then. Second data set, global reported natural disasters by type. And you can see here a peak in the early 2000s, and we've been dropping off since then on global reported natural disasters. And here again, International Disaster Database. Once again, the disasters, including wildfire, volcanic activity, mass movements, landslides, earthquakes, extreme temperature, drought, extreme weather, and flooding, all decreasing since 2004. Those are the facts that no one is reporting on. Wisconsin storms bring three tornadoes. One man dies in a crash. Tornadoes have touched down in Pennsylvania and Wisconsin amid powerful thunderstorms over the last 24 to 48 hours, causing widespread damage, contributing to the death of a man who crashed into a fallen tree in a power line. And more moisture, as you can see. Well, there's the tornadoes. He looks pretty important. You can see that monsoonal moisture returning to the West, and that's good news. Well, for some and for others, cleanup is underway after monsoon storms bring intense flooding to Miami area. We're not talking Florida. Yes, we're talking Miami, Arizona. Rainfall as a result of the latest monsoon storm hit Arizona has brought flooding to Miami, a town along US-60 located east of the valley. And there is some extreme flooding there. Take a look at the videos to get up to speed. Flash flooding possible in the southwest today. Very hot in the south and the northwest. They're not going to tell you where it's cold, but we will in just a moment. Monsoonal activity will elevate the potential for flash flooding impacts, especially in complex terrain, burn scars, and urban areas across much of the southwest and intermontane west, along with the central and southern Rockies into next week. That's a lot of moisture coming for weeks and putting out most of those big fires. Good news. Very hot conditions cover much of the interior northwest, south central, and southeastern portions of the con U.S., but that will rapidly be shifting. Headlines, we don't need those. Let's take a look at the temperature anomaly here for August 2nd, looking like record cold in the northeast, record cold in the center of the country. But let's just walk it through. Today. Here we are today, Friday, July 30th. And you can see it's going to be hot up in the northwest. This is a temperature anomaly map where the red is showing above normal, the blue is showing below normal. You can see it quickly cool off Friday night here with below normal temperatures, extremely cold temperatures in South Dakota, and probably some records out here in the Mountain West. That cold is going to be in place over the northeast. Take a look at Saturday up in New York State. It's going to be extremely chilly, especially up in the DAX. Some areas may be getting close or below 40, and it's going to be getting quite sporty. Look at the cold temperatures, blue, below normal for over half of the country. Heat in the southeast and heat in the extreme northwest, but relatively cool across the, the continent here. 
and we we've been predicting it to be cool moving into August uh, for the last several days, and the models have not shifted. It is ch ch chilly in many regions in the east and the center of the U.S., while the west will remain warm and above normal. Most of the country, look at Texas, chilling out August 5th. Take a look at North Dakota and Virginia. Governor, say it ain't so. So the chilling is going to persist all the way into Philadelphia August 6th, while the media is going to report on this one hot spot right there. Let's take a look at the total accumulated precipitation, and we can see that that uh, southwestern monsoonal activity is keeping uh, areas in drought moist, including Arizona, New Mexico, the big winter chicken dinner, and Colorado. We need the moisture. So does western Wyoming, all of Utah, all of Idaho, western Montana. Good news in the west. Deepest Aussie snowpack in 21 years. The latest snow depth reading from Spencer's Creek in Australia at an elevation of 1,830 meters, approximately halfway between the NSW ski resorts of Perisher and Threadbow, is at its deepest July snowpack in 21 years, which happens to be during a solar minimum. <laughs> Thursday's reading, July 29th, came at a whopping 183.6 centimeters, the best since the bumper 2000 season, which had 189 centimeters, a difference of only a few centimeters. Historic cold continues to batter Brazil and the coffee with an unprecedented 33 plus, whatever that means. Rio Grande do Sul municipality seeing snow on Wednesday. 33 municipalities seeing snow on Wednesday. That has to be a record. Holy macaroni. Rare and heavy snowfall also sweeping the country on Wednesday, leaving 13 cities across the state of Rio Grande do Sul blanketed in snow. An unprecedented feat. Here you can see the extreme cold sweeping South America. Once again, this is a temperature anomaly map, and the purple is showing you temperatures 12 degrees or more below normal. And that is chilly South America. Igloos in South Africa. Frogs dying from the cold in Australia. Oh my, Arctic air to sweep Europe. Whew. Thanks, Cap Allen. We wouldn't know any of this if it weren't for you. Alaska Coast 8.2 magnitude earthquake was the strongest in decades. We put a video up yesterday. Please go back and check it out. If not, I'll leave you links to the BitChute link where you can watch it commercial free and give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our BitChute channel if you haven't. We only have 1,213, 1,236 subs there. Let's get that up to 2,000, shall we? Seismic update. There are the aftershocks from the quake in of note there. In the Aleutians, on the Aleutian Megathrust, watch the video and learn more. And worldwide, we have the East African Rift getting a little jiggy down in Albert and South Africa. And some activity here on Tajikistan. We also have activity in Hawaii and keeping a close eye on Mauna Loa. No single model for supersized eruptions and their magma bodies. Now this paper coming out. Just three days ago is basically telling us that scientists have no way to predict super volcanic eruptions. USGS raises volcano alert as residents report shaking and emissions. Oh my, the USGS has raised the alert level at Pagan, Mount Pagan, which is located in Pagan Island within the Commonwealth of the Northern Marianas Islands, located just north of Sapion and Guam. Now, Pagan is a big mover and a shaker with an eruptive history uh, showing VEI2 quite frequently. Just there's at least 10 eruptions in the last four decades with a VEI4 back in 1981. Mount St. Helens much? Worldwide Volcano News Update. Dukono, Sangay, Liwatolo, Novados de Chilan, Sabancaya, Suanosima, Pagan. We reported on it. We also have extreme activity. Well, there's some explosive activity at Suonosima. And we have extreme activity at Merapi. Increasingly dangerous activity. Look at this pyroclastic flow there. The eruption of the volcano is slowly but surely intensifying as the active lava dome continues to grow with magma rising into it. A series of moderately large pyroclastic flows occurred this morning shortly after midnight local time, descending to the base of the summit cone and reaching two kilometers in length. So keeping a close eye on Merapi as well. The Long-Term Monitoring Program Annual Summary Report of the Coral Reef Condition at the Great Barrier Reef is a boom in good news. 
I sent this amazing piece over to Jennifer Murahasi for her perusal, and it is showing up, up, and away. Good things on the Great Barrier Reef. 127 total number of reefs surveyed. And here you can see the locations from Rockhampton all the way north of Cooktown to the tip. Hard coral cover, 27% increase. Status and trend, 26% coral increase. Status and trend, 39% coral increase. And let's talk about crown of thorns and starfish outbreaks all down. Bleaching severity, down, down, down. And the coral is recovering by over 30% in just a year. Crickets from the mainstream. They will continue to report that the Great Barrier Reef is dying. It's your fault. And we should all go to hell. But the facts are in. And they have no idea what they're talking about. Now, does machine learning reconstruct missing sunspots and forecast a new solar minimum? According to Dr. Willie Soon and Dr. Herrera and Legatis. Yes, it does. And we reached out to Dr. Soon after we put up a video yesterday on the topic at Magnetic Reversal News, and he got right back to us. He is intrigued by the work we do at the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and is currently on vacation, but will be joining us for a personal interview in just a short time. So stay tuned for the Dr. Willie Soon interview coming up soon. To get you up to speed, here's the 2015 paper that made it all possible. Reconstructions and predictions of the total solar irradiance from the medieval warm period to the 21st century. Now, do Pleistocene rock paintings depict Sulawesi warty pigs? We reported on this a month ago when the paper came out that some of the oldest rock art in Indonesia was discovered and it was depicting a Sulawesi warty pig, which is currently domesticated today. And the question is, if 40,000 plus years ago, we had domesticated pigs in Indonesia already, what say you? I say yes. And the fact is that we've had multiple ebbs and flows of very advanced societies on this earth that completely get wiped off the planet at regular periodicities. The next one happening now, something strange is happening in Britain. Coronavirus cases are plummeting, not soaring. And very few people are reporting on it. Over half the deer in Michigan seem to have been exposed to the SARS-CoV-2 as well. Maybe they should wear masks and we should quarantine the deer. Hope you got something out of the video. Dystopian world needs some, well, levity, to say the least. Proper prior planning prevents piss-poor performance. Thanks to all of our one-time donors, our Patreons, our new Patreons. The heroes that share this video, we love you. Be safe. And that's a boom to knowledge. Buy the bean. Get the results. <laughs>